Yo, check out my new sponsors. No need to wait any longer for your coins. It's in the name, instantmaddencoins.com. They have coins on all platforms and use my code JAB for 10% off. Yo, Jab fam, what is up? Just a bro, back again on Madden Mobile today. Gonna be giving you guys a video showcasing the best players under 100K. Now, before I start, I'm gonna put the buy now actually for 115K because a lot of players get undercut all the time. So, they'll be 115K, 110K, and that'll obviously drop to 100K lower than that. So, a lot of these players go for, like, the players I'm gonna be showcasing from, like, let's say 85K all the way up to 115k so I put like a like a, an outlier the outlier is 115k and the, the minimum would be 85k that they would drop their least amount because let's say a promo drops this NFL play playoffs promo a player I'm gonna showcase like a few of them they were like 115 160k now they go for like 100 110k so keeping that in mind keep that in mind when a promo drops the players plummet in price by a pretty significant amount so let's get into it starting off with the quarterbacks I'm gonna go for the best players under 115k maybe the best one in the game right now 110k 109k Drew Brees 92 overall there's a few legends actually I think there's also a Steve McNair I'm just gonna put 92 overall so Steve McNair John Elway Alex Smith he's okay he doesn't have the best throwing power so I would actually avoid my quarterback but Steve McNair John Elway and Drew Brees are some of the best. You'll see like a trend here with like heroes, MVPs, a bunch of other promos. Carson Wentz, another guy. Like I said earlier today, he was around 110, 115k. This one was just sold 120k. So they all, this guy got undercut for literally one coin. This guy right here, 120,000 and one coin. This guy posted it for 120k. That one sold out. And then that'll just, people just keep undercutting because there's a batch every five minutes of so every batch. More players will drop. Most likely, the, this Prescott will drop to like 110, 115k overnight. Another guy, another quarterback I want to showcase is Robert Griffin III. 100,000 coins on the dot. One of the best ones. Plus two acceleration to everyone on the team. And finally, the last quarterback, Nick Foles. 72,000 coins plus two awareness to everyone on the team. You'll, once again, you'll see a trend. Flashback, flashbacks, game changers, team heroes, team MVPs, a bunch of cards like that. Some other type of promos as well. This is if you cannot afford, let's say, 98 Favre. 98 Stafford, 94 plus, any QB that's a 94 or higher. These are literally toe and toe with those QBs, just lower overall, but they give awesome boosts. Moving on to halfback, and a lot of you guys will agree with me if you've used him before, Tavon Austin. Him and Tyreek Hill out of position halfbacks, they're absolutely amazing. They're speed demons, 93 speed, 91 catching. You can throw screens to them, uh, wheel routes to Tavon and Tyreek, acceleration plus if you add acceleration and agility boosts. And he's going for 35,000 coins. This is one of the best halfbacks. If you're if you're grinding for head-to-head -head like all Madden, there's no, really no other better halfback than Tavon Austin. And here's another guy, Tyreek Kill, 93 speed, 94 catching. So it's better better catching than Tavon Austin. 91 Excel, uh, 91 agility, 88 elusiveness. This guy is absolutely insane. Once again, one, one of the best halfbacks. If you're grinding for League versus League, for 95 Sherman or 95 Eifert or DeMarco, you're trying to get... Quick, easy points and yards. There's really no one better than these two guys. But there's a few others I want to mention. If you want a beast of a running back, DeMarco Murray plus two acceleration. Kind of slow 88 speed, like at this point, that's that's average. But that acceleration is incredible. Another halfback under 100k, who actually, he was sitting at legit 50k today. I think 45, 50k. His, his price really skyrocketed by like 30k today, which is pretty insane. But most of the time, he won't go for this much. I think it's because the Dion uh, Dion Lewis team of the week came out, which which dropped the prices on to Freeman. But 91 speed, 78 catch, 94 agility. If you are using Frank Gore, definitely recommend selling him and picking up picking yourself a better halfback. Because look at his speed, man. 82 speed. He's not someone you want on the squad, even though he does get plus two trucking, which is, is honestly is not one of the best attribute attribute boosts. So I don't recommend Gore, but I do recommend picking up. Do recommend picking up LeGarrette Blunt now 99k right here 91 catch I don't know if this is a glitch because the guy had he had seven catches all season long and they gave him 91 catching but 89 speed is solid plus two elusiveness elusiveness to himself and all Patriots players that would give him 91 elusiveness 92 strength so you know he's gonna be bulldozing over everyone moving on to wide receivers now this is a this is a perfect example as why I rose the price up to 115k uh, I believe last week, Antonio Brown's cheapest card, this version, MVP Master, was like 140, 150k. 
Now he's sitting at 90,000 coins, so it'll always it'll always skyrocket and always plummet down in price. You guys will know what I mean. When Team of the Year drops, these guys were, they will be obsolete. Like, honestly, I think they'll be obsolete, which their price will be even lower if you wait for Team of the Year, which is, I think, in two weeks. But plus two acceleration, this AB is definitely one of the best cards in the game. 92 catching, 89 speed. Now here's another staple. If you want to couple him with Antonio Brown, another plus two acceleration wide receiver, Juice, Jarvis Landry, 92, 92 catching, 86 speed. But him and AB, that's plus four excel to everyone on the team. And let's say you couple them both with this Ted Ginn Jr. His attribute boost is plus five speed, and that's only to himself. Which, if you put him on the team, you'll see he'll have 95 speed. Add that plus four excel from uh, Juice and AB, that'll give him 95 excel and 95 speed. Honestly, one of the deadliest receivers in the game. And if you don't have Russell Wilson at quarterback, this headliner Russell Wilson, he has a, gives himself plus 10 catch. Currently has an 88 catch. That would give him 98 catching with 89 speed. And if you don't like the shorter targets like AB and Jarvis, which who are like under six feet, six feet and under, uh, Mike Evans, six foot five, less than 100K, plus two catch to everyone on the team. He'll have 88 catching and 88 speed. A few more guys, Eric Decker, plus two awareness to everyone on the team. The flashbacks are usually my favorite. And there's AJ Green, headliner, giving himself plus five catch, that's 95 catching. Plus five jumping, that'd be 98 jumping. He's already six foot two or six foot three, I believe, so he's already one of the best receivers in the game. Here's another guy, King Crab, Michael Crabtree, plus 10 catching. Uh, I know it says plus 10 catching on only on long passes. However, if you if you buy him, you put him on the team, he will it will say 96 catching for him. And who doesn't love 96 catching, man? That he'll never drop a ball. Here's DeAndre Hopkins. I think I mentioned him before in a previous video, but plus two excel, minus one elusiveness. That is honestly amazing. If you cannot afford the 92, um, I believe it's the Team Hero Master Edition DeAndre Hopkins. This is honestly one of the better receivers in this game. And technically he's in everyone's budget for 52K. You really, it's kind of a steal if you ask me, a guy who gives plus two excel, those type of stats. Plus one who looseness, who gives a shit, man. Honestly, this card is insane. Now moving on to tight ends, there's maybe gonna be four tight ends I'm gonna mention. One being Jared Cook, plus two strength, awesome run blocking. Now in, in tight ends, you want catching and you want run blocking. Speed is, it's, it's beneficial, but how often do you throw D bombs to your tight end unless it's a Hail Mary? So Jared Cook is actually one of the better ones since he's, he's pretty fast, 86 speed. However, these are only for the guys who do not have Lever's League, Tyler Eifert. I would recommend picking up Travis Kelsey plus two agility. Excel agility, strength, speed, awareness, and elusiveness are my favorite attributes in this game. I'm sure a lot of you guys agree with me. Like you don't, you really don't care about catching. You really don't care about uh, jumping. Those are like some futile attribute boosts. However, agility is awesome. That would give everyone on the team plus two agility. That would give him 87, and he is honestly one of the best tight ends in this game. I know he has like a ton of cards, but with all the Travis Kelsey cards that have been released, this is the best one. And if you cannot afford those, pick yourself up a Donald Penn who goes around 50k, roughly. Then uh, the only reason is, I know he's very slow, but look at his run block and pass block. 86 run block, 90 pass block. That's in. That's amazing, man. Seriously. And if you prefer someone else than like a guy with speed and run block, uh, Anquan Bolden, tight and out of position. 84 speed, 84 run block. Very solid. 84 catching as well. We'll not be doing offensive line because I'm mainly sticking to the skill positions. With offensive line, you can really just pick up any base elites that go for like 30k or somewhat close to that range price. And if you can actually afford uh, the team MVPs, team heroes, or the uh, the signatures, like the 92, 93 overall higher ones, then get those because those are the best ones. But I'm sticking with the team, the MVPs. They're like 91 overall. They do go for over 100, like 50k per per position however they're the best offensive lineman in the game in my opinion if you want a lockdown corner this guy does not have any boosts so I'm, I'm not really gonna recommend someone who i'm not usually gonna recommend someone who doesn't have any boosts however rocky robert alford i know i'm a falcons fan and it's kind of biased but it's really not there aren't a lot of quarterbacks who have 92 speed and 90 plus man coverage so uh rocky is his nickname robert alford is one of the best cornerbacks in this game under 100k he's actually like cheaper than that he's 60,000 coins right now, which and his stats are very very solid But if you do prefer someone with boosts, then I recommend picking up this Logan Ryan game changer Plus two agility to everyone in the team kind of slow So you would not really rock him as your primary one cornerback 
but he's got 91 zone, 90 play rec. Another lockdown cornerback is Thanksgiving Antonio Cromartie. Also, Sam Madison, 89 speed, 91 man, 93 zone coverage. And uh, out of this batch, the highest overall, 92 Willie Brown, 115K, 91 speed, 91 man, 89 zone, 91 play rec. Another really, really good cornerback. That's 115K or cheaper. Usually drops 100K uh, when legend packs are out. One of my favorites is uh, Revis, since he gives plus to Excel. Another really, really good cornerback that I actually rocked for a really long time until I got the League vs. League Sherman and the Xavier Rhodes uh, MVP Master Edition. Is this Janoris Jenkins? Plus two man to everyone on the team. 91, 91 man coverage, basically 86 zone, 89 speed, 95 agility with 91 play rec. Two other beasts I'm gonna recommend, one being X Factor Darius Slay. His X-Factor attribute is 97 tackle. He's got 90 speed, 90 man coverage. And Desmond True Font, the X-Factor, 70,000 coins, 89 speed, 96 man coverage. This guy is locked down. When it comes to the safety position, there are a lot of really, really good safeties. And it's usually just preference whether you like man coverage or zone coverage boosts. Like Dwight Lowry, 105k, most of the time, less than 100k. Plus two zone, he'll have 90 zone, then he gives plus two zone to everyone else on the team. Or a guy like Calvin Pryor, hit stick machine, 91 zone, plus two tackle. Or the other hit stick machine, you got TJ Ward, 110k, 86p, 87 zone, plus two tackle, 85 tackle for him then. Like I said, it's all preference. However, I do recommend avoiding Will Parks. I know he gives plus 10 XL to himself. He'll give himself 99 acceleration. However, he has 82 speed and he'll just get burnt alive every single play. And with Deion Sanders in this game, Herman Moore, Antonio Brown, those guys have really high speed. They'll just outpace these guys like it's nobody's business. Moving on to linebackers, Thomas Davis Sr., headliner. Probably the best linebacker under 100K. As you can see, he's 110K. That obviously drop. That In like a week or so, he's going to be like less than 100K. So like I said, he'll either drop to 80... Um, I've seen this guy like all the way up to 90 or 85K before. But he gives himself plus 10 awareness. That'll give him 99 awareness, and he's got 91 zone, 83 speed, so all the best stats for a linebacker. 86 man coverage. This guy can go hand-in-hand -hand with any tight end. He can actually stay on, on receivers as well, so I mean, I think this Thomas Davis is definitely one of the best linebackers in this game. If you like rocking high overall linebackers, Ted Hendricks, 92 overall, but a guy I really, really like on the squad. He's actually on my team right now. He's always, always, always less than 100k. Brian Aragpo plus two play recognition. That's a stat that will technically boost everyone on the defense. And then he's got really solid stats as well. 91 strength, 89 pursuit, 89 tackle. So it really, you're not going to run on him. He'll stop the run. The new team of the week, Bud Dupree, is literally like a linebacker version of, of Ryan Shazier. 90 speed, 90 excel, 90 pursuit. And he's going for 20k. Like, dude, that's... The best budget beast card, literally, seriously. That's one of the best budget beast cards that has that has been released this week. I'm a fan of a uh, Talvin Smith, Team Hero, plus one agility, and another plus one agility. All Jacks players giving himself plus two agility, 88 speed, 81 zone, 89 pursuit. I rocked this dude for uh, for a really long time. I ba I just recently got rid of him for uh, the 93 Clowny headliner who goes for like 160k right now. But this was one of my favorite cards on release, this uh, Telvin Smith, and he goes for less than 50k. For middle linebackers, you can either rock Hightower, Mosley, or Warlow. Two of them give uh, hit power boosts, or CJ Mosley is, I think, um, adjusted overall wise, he's the best one out of them. Plus, he gives the plus two pursuit attribute boost. Flashback Timmons, plus two tackle to everyone on the team. Once again, flashbacks are my favorite promos. And finally, the last middle linebacker I will be recommending is this Eric Kendricks headliner, 50K, 94 tackle, 94 excel, 84 speed. So this guy is, he's like a, a poor man's Luke Keekley. He's always in the field on every single play. Also, he gives himself plus 10 awareness. So with a uh, couple that, with those stats, plus 91 awareness. So this guy is honestly one of the best middle linebackers in this game. And I got nothing else to say about him. He's a beast. Also, guys, if you want to continue this series for, I guess, best players under 500k, hit that like button. Shows me that you guys want me to continue it. And then eventually I'll do a million when players, like, high overalls increase. But you guys already know, at this point, there's no point to do 500k. Because we all know those are the best cards in the game. As well as a million, there's really no point to do that, to do that at all for, like, the next five or six months, to be honest. Maybe four months. But... Right now, 100k, that was kind of recommended, so I, I thought that was a pretty cool idea to make as a video. So here we go, let's do defensive ends. Two staples, Akeem Hicks, Mike Danos, plus two finesse moves, plus two power moves. 
One is not better than the other, uh, boost-wise. Uh, also, Mario Williams, flashback, plus two finesse moves. Cleus Campbell, he's actually one of the better ones. Currently, I'm rocking him on the team. Uh, plus two strength, which is awesome. Strength, I think, uh, overpowers finesse moves and power moves, and that finesse, obviously, and power moves are not beneficial for the offense, but strength always is. Finally, since the team heroes, uh, they're, they're, you cannot complete their sets anymore, Wilfork's price a little, uh, it went up a little bit, even though he's an 88 overall. The reason for that is he gives plus two strength to uh, all Texans players, plus one strength to everyone else on the team, and plus two strength to himself. He's one of the better defensive tackles in this game. Rocked with him before I picked up that Linville Joseph and Kyle Long. So I have, I recently picked him up uh, over the last month or so. He, uh, one of the best defensive tackles in the game. 94 tackle, 92 awareness, 88 pursuit. But I do not use him anymore, and I do rock currently Kyle Long, who just recently was like 50k every single day. But since the out of position uh, promo is over, the winter promo is over, Kyle Long's price went up a little bit, 110k now, 76 speed, so definitely one of the fastest defensive tackles in this game. Him and Aaron Donald, but I prefer Kyle Long, it's just preference, once again. As soon as other promos drop in the next month, less than a month or so, this Linville Joseph will be going for around 100, 115, 120k. Currently, one of the best defensive tackles in this game if you cannot afford the 93 or higher pluses. Uh, but him, uh, Damon Harrison, who I believe is around 200k right now. 91 defensive tackles, so these guys, they're not in the budget of most players since they're really high in price. But when they drop to 110, 115k, can be very attainable on the squad, and they're you know some of the best defensive tackles in this game. But that is the entire series, guys. For best players to buy under 100k, once again, I rose up the price to 115k because players are always undercut, and you can definitely snag them for 100k or less. But nonetheless, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Leave a huge like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Catch you guys next video. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.